Hi everybody, so I have Christian Wood with me today. Christian and I work together with Rosie Huntington Whiteley. He also works with Kim Kardashian and Katy Perry, just to name a few. He's an amazing hairdresser. I'm so honored he's here today. And he's going to show us how to do a classic Hollywood retro hairstyle. I know you get asked to do that kind of hair all the time, don't you? I do get a lot of requests to do this look. I do it a lot of my red carpet clients and it's an old school Hollywood wave with a modern edge. And I'm so excited I can show you guys how to do it. We have a beautiful model called Diana. She has beautiful hair. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So today we have the beautiful Diana and we're gonna do a modern Hollywood glamorous look. So we're gonna start with sectioning the hair and I'm gonna take a small section at the bottom and clip it out the way. And we're gonna start by blow drying first. And the reason I like to start with blow drying is because I think it gives a good base for prepping the hair. It'll get it soft and shiny and silky so we can really start recreating the look. So we're gonna use a Ibiza Ball Bristle Round Brush. I find that this is the best for blow drying because it keeps the hair shiny, soft, and stops breakage happening so easily. So I'm gonna blow dry it smooth with a little bend in the end, and that's gonna help the process of being fabulous and shiny and bouncy. You wanna start the style process going. So definitely sweeping it around to one side for that Hollywood look and use the technique of blow drying it into the neck and then your hair is gonna start forming in the technique that you want it to eventually. So as you can see, we're starting to do a, a semi-smooth blow. You don't need to do anything too fancy or anything too professional. It's just to get a bit of a smooth base in there, a little bend in the end and start the shine process happening. I don't like to use a lot of product to start with, but what I do love to use is something when you get closer to the top, so your last section to finish with. And I like to spray a little uh, thickening mist or a root volumizer through the roots and that'll give you a hint of product without you know, loading it up so much that the hair becomes flat and dense and heavy. So my favorite product at the moment is this Christophe Rabin Thickening Spray. It smells of rose water, which is my absolute favorite smell on earth. And what I like to do is take this top section, hold it up, and it's so light, and just spray a little bit into the roots on dry hair. And the reason why I like to do it on dry hair is because I feel like you're starting the styling process already and you lose a lot of natural texture when you blow dry everything from wet. So this will keep a little fluffiness in there which will help give it bounce and fullness afterwards. The most important thing to me is definitely the parting. I think it gives the hair an overall finished look, it's polished, it gives it a sharpness which keeps it modern and youthful with a very classic sort of glamorous look. And I like to use a rubber tail comb. And what you wanna do is just slot it into the hair, lift the hair up and pull your section out. And then you'll see there's little baby hairs and you can just go in there again and re-sharpen it. I like to do quite a deep side parting because I think it gives the look more drama. But if you're not comfortable with that, do something slightly higher up um, and you know, go with it, whatever works with your face. So you can see the parting's nice and sharp there. There's a few little baby hairs here, which we'll get rid of later in the process. But just start with developing the look already because you want to have a feeling all the way through so you know what you're creating. So I like to tuck this side behind and then sweep it over so you get the feeling already of what's happening. And you can see that already it starts to go into the sort of dramatic Hollywood look. So I'm gonna teach you next how, about how to curl the hair. We call it tonguing in England, but in America you guys call it curling, so I'm gonna show you how to curl the hair. So we're gonna start with taking the, front, the bottom section of the hair and just basically pull that round forwards because there's no point tonguing it backwards or tonguing it in different directions and then finishing with a result that's not your desired effect. So you wanna take your bottom section, which still is fluffy and still has a bit of texture in there, but you want that because you're gonna use the curling irons almost like a straightener to smooth out the hair at the same time creating a beautiful brushed out wave. So I'm gonna use a medium sized curling iron. So my favorite iron to use at the moment is a Babyliss Pro iron. I think it's uh, really easy to use, it's lightweight, 
um, and you'll see how what you know what a great finish it gives to the hair. So you put it in and pull it down. And what that'll do is it'll it give you a cheap way to a fancy blow dry before you even started. So you take that section, open your curling iron, and then just wrap it round. And you want to make sure the ends are tucked into the iron, and then hold down. And I like to keep moving it, but if that's too complicated, you don't have to. It's just so the hair doesn't mark in the iron. You can equally use a wand, which is much easier for people to use at home, and it gives the same technique. Release the hair, hold it in your hand for a second, just let the steam come off, and then release it, and you'll start to get a, a little wave of a curl in there. You don't want anything too tight. Too tight is going to be hard to brush out, and you won't get that beautiful romantic feeling. So we're going to take another section, do the same thing, start at the root, pull it all the way down, and what this does is it starts to add shine to the hair, it starts to um, create the smoothing process. The same thing again, wrap round, make sure those ends are tucked in. It's so important that the ends are tucked in. And then hold for 10 seconds. You can count in a different language if you like, it makes it go quicker. I like to do French. Hold it, let go, hold for five seconds, and then release. And you can already see that a beautiful, shiny wave is starting to come through. So we're going to do this over the entire head. So same thing again, all the way through, take your sections, going all the way up the head, do the same process, and then I'll show you how to finish the front at the end. So what I like to do next is take a slightly smaller curling iron and use that on the top and the front of the hair. That'll give you a slightly tighter wave to the hair, and you'll get the beautiful, soft, brushed out, loose effect through the mid lengths and ends, and then through the front, you'll get the deep Hollywood set. So what you want to do is open your curling iron, and then curl away from the face. So put it in, and then wrap around, and curl away from the face. And the most important thing is that you make sure you get those ends in. Obviously be careful not to burn your fingers, because they're super hot. And then when you know that's nice and hot, release, hold for five seconds, wait till the steams come off the hair, and then release. And you can see you're starting to get a slightly more intense wave through the front. I think a sharp parting is really important. As you can see while I've been curling the hair, the parting has moved slightly. So use your tail comb, again, put it into the hair, and just clean up any loose hairs that are there and get a really super sharp, deep side parting. So we're gonna finish off by using a little hairspray before we even brush out the curls, and that'll give you a little hold, a little density to the hair. My favorite at the moment is Frederick Fakai Sheer Hold Hairspray. It gives you enough hold, but without being sort of sticky and residuey. So just give the hair a quick mist, through the ends as well. And it also hairspray helps thicken the hair a little bit, which I always think is really important with this look. So for the finishing technique, we have the sort of beautiful soft waves already in the hair. And what we wanna do now is using your Mason and Pearson brush, which to me is the only brush you can use to finish this look. You wanna take, sort of lift the front section off the face and twist it back and start working with the bottom section. And basically just, it's really easy. Just bring all the hair around towards one side and just start brushing it down into place. And you'll see like a beautiful brushed out wave starting to form. So then when it comes to finishing the top, make sure you're not disturbing the parting and basically brush away from the face. And use your hands to smooth out. There's always a little natural oil in your fingers which will help keep the hair sleek and shiny without overdosing it with product. And bring it all the way around, sweeping all the way around, and then just gently brush out. And using your Mason and Pearson brush, keep brushing it. What I like to do with the top is using the tail comb and add a little back comb in there. So we want to take the top section, separate, and then back comb. You can do quite vigorously at the root and then you can always brush it out over the top afterwards. And do this all the way down to about just above the ear if you want lots of volume, or just to the temple if you want a little volume through the front. What I'm doing right now is some of the ends have fallen out a little bit, and I think you can just go in there and just re-curl the ends of the hair. But pick pieces, it doesn't have to be the whole thing again. Just anywhere where it's gone a little bit straight. So for example, that little bit there, you can literally just do the ends of it, and that stops the overall look from being too curly, and uh, keeps it a little more modern. Okay, so what you wanna do, once the hair's been back combed to the desired area you want, just spray a little bit of hairspray onto the roots of each section, 
And that's just gonna give you a little hold so that you don't pull all the back brush out of the hair. And it's also gonna give you a little staying power as well for the night. And then you wanna take your Mason and Pearson and then start to brush a little bit of the back comb out and just smooth out over the top without losing the volume. So be quite delicate with it and take your time. And as you can see, I'm just smoothing out the top, but still keeping the volume through the hair. If you wanna keep it brushed back and keep it sort of more old school, that's great. And if you also wanna brush it forward, that can also give it a modern, softer edge. But what I like to do now at this point, once the hair's got its wave in it, it's all brushed out, I don't mind if there's a few little floppies in there. Always think that keeps it young and youthful. But I like to brush out a section and just gently using your fingers, just gently shake it out. And then, using hairspray on your fingertips, spray it on, and then get rid of all the baby hairs. And what this technique will help you do is it will stop you from spraying too much in the hair and then it doesn't move. And the same thing again, get all the baby hairs and using your fingers, take them all out. Once you have your fringe in place, use your hairspray again and then gently put your hand underneath and then just mist it with a little hairspray. And because you don't want it to be falling on your face all night. And then for the little baby hairs again, use your fingers and just gently pull them away. I like to keep one side super tight and smooth. I think that keeps it modern and gives it like a little tougher edge. One final mist of hairspray, just so it lasts throughout the entire night. And at this point, you can kind of use the hairspray and kind of get rid of some of the baby hairs. And that gives you volume, gives you a little movement, and stops it from being too stiff. There you go.